Welcome to the chapter Our Village Our Tanks This slide presents the overview of the chapter learning objectives by the end of this chapter you will be able to describe the history of nagula chiruvu tank explain the construction of a tank analyze the advantages of tanks list the factors that cause the pollution of tanks describe how to manage tanks let us start first with the introduction We know that a village is a small settlement that is usually found in a rural location. We also know that the main types of occupation in Indian villages include agriculture, fishing, weaving, cottage industry, handicrafts, etc. Do you know from the ancient period agriculture remains the principal occupation in Indian villages? Do you know what are the sources of water for agriculture in the villages in this chapter let us know in detail about a village tank and nagula chiruvu which acts as the main source of water for agriculture we will first start with the history of nagula chiruvu nagula chiruvu is a tank or chiruvu of a village to the people this tank acts as the main source of water for agriculture Before the construction of the Nagula Chiruvu tank there was a small pond in that place with just small rains this pond used to get filled up only the farmers who were staying near the pond used the water of that pond thus in order to make the pond water available to all the farmers a farmer met the tahsildar and asked him to take necessary action as a result An engineer analyzed the region near the pond and proposed to convert the pond into a tank. Now, let us know how the Nagula Chiruvu tank was constructed. With the engineer's proposal, everybody in the village came forward and started the construction of the tank collectively. The first thing they did was identifying the source of the flood water. Next, they constructed the outlet outlets help to drain the excess water by letting it out after completion the construction of the outlets their first main concern was to prevent soil erosion which takes place when the water flows from the outlets thus to prevent soil erosion they laid large stones in the path of the water with the help of cement and sand the villagers prepared canals After the tank was constructed the farmers saw adequate rainfall and there was a tremendous change in their lifestyle the farmers sowed paddy crop and obtained a good harvest do you know with the help of canals some tanks are connected with other tanks this allows the water to flow from one tank to another in the rainy season for example bukkapatnam tank and dharmavaram tank in anantapur district similarly canals are dug to fill the tanks with river water such tanks are found in krishna west and east godavari districts knowledge check attempt the following questions to check your understanding All the residents of the village had a close attachment with Nagula Chiruvu. Let us listen to a villager by name Rangaya who shares his attachment in his own words. Hello, my name is Rangaya. I was very fond of Nagula Chiruvu from my childhood. Every Sunday, my father used to take me to this tank and taught me swimming. I used to do many activities with my friends near the tank. like catching fish crabs etc my friends and i used to see big frogs water snakes 
and tortoises. We were very much fascinated by the view of birds flying on water. Here we will know about the various advantages of Nagula Chiruvu tank. The following are the various advantages of Nagula Chiruvu tank. Acts as the main and only source of water for agriculture. Farmers and agricultural laborers mostly depend on this tank to carry out their agricultural activities. Children learn to swim in this tank. People take bath, wash clothes near the tank. People do fishing. They even let small fish into the tank for breeding. They prepare ropes, fiber plants like amaranthus, jute, flax, etc. are soaked in water. This tank is the only source of drinking water for birds and animals. The water level in wells, tube wells, check dams increases when the tank is full. However, when the level of water decreases in the tank, people do fishing, grow watermelon, muskmelon and cucumber. In summer, farmers take up dissitation and use that mud in their fields because it is very fertile. Let us look at how the villagers celebrate when the Nagula Chiruvu tank is full of water. When the tank is full of water, a festival called Maisamma festival is organized by the villagers. They let the water out to the fields. On the occasion of this festival, all the villagers donate rice, money, etc., prepare food and dine on the tank bun and then let water into the fields. At the time of Batukama festival, people immerse Batukamas into the tank. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Now, we will go through the human activities that pollute the tanks. People have been polluting the tanks in many ways. In villages, the villagers wash their clothes in the tanks. As the village people do not have proper toilet facilities, they use tanks for that purpose. They wash cattle, etc. Every year, people immerse Lord Ganesha idols in the tanks. The poisonous colors died on the idols pollute the water and kill the fish. The sewage water from the houses are let into the tanks, thereby polluting the tanks. The people throw eatables, empty covers, plastic bottles, etc. into the tank, which also pollute the water. Many medicine manufacturing factories release chemical effluents into the tanks. This makes the underground water and tank water polluted. Earlier, the water from tanks was used for drinking purpose, but now the water is completely polluted. At present, the tanks are being occupied by new houses. So now, let us know about the factors that cause the drying of tanks. The green environment around us is getting reduced day by day because of the environmental pollution, deforestation and many other human activities. With fewer trees, the sun rays fall on the earth directly. This leads to warming of the earth's atmosphere. Due to this, we encounter various problems like low rainfall, which ultimately leads to drought. Drought is a prolonged period of abnormal low rainfall, leading to the shortage of water. Due to lack of rainfall, farmers drill more and more bore wells to draw the underground water. This act is causing great damage to the environment. With such a diverse climate, people living in villages travel long distances to fetch water. Here, let us know how Nagula Charu tank management is carried out through a villager's own words. Hello, my name is Salman. We have our fields near Nagula Charu tank. For the development of tanks, the government has initiated agricultural water management societies. In our village, all farmers together decide 
and elect a president of the Agricultural Water Management Society. Every year, the society takes up various activities like repairs of canals, embankments, outlets, etc. In summer, the society will take up decitation and the mud obtained is spread in the agricultural fields. The society also checks the pollution in bunds and take care of the tank as it is the only source of livelihood to the villagers. Like Nagula Chiruvu, there are many other big tanks. Let us know about some of them. Ramappa Tank, Kambam Tank, Hussein Sagar Tank, Wasman Sagar Tank. Click each tab to know more. Ramappa Tank. The Ramappa Tank is located in Varangal district of Telangana. It is at a distance of 70 kilometers from Varangal. This tank was built by the Kakatiyan ruler Ganapati Deva in the 13th century. Kakatiyan rulers used to have the tradition to build a tank near the temple. Thus, after building the Ramappa Temple in 1261, this tank was built at a distance of about one kilometer from the temple. To all the villages nearby, this tank was the only source of water for agriculture. There exist many hills and forests around this tank. The Kambam tank is located in Prakasham district in Andhra Pradesh. It is one of the oldest man-made tank in entire Asian subcontinent. It was constructed by Orissa Gajapati Rajalu in 15th century at Nallamala Hills. The length of this tank is 7 km and the width is 3.5 km. It serves water to about 10,300 acres of agricultural land. Hussein Sagar Tank Hussein Sagar is a lake tank in Hyderabad built by Hajrat Hussein Shah Wali in 1562. It was built on the tributary of River Musi to meet the water requirement of Hyderabad city. In 1946, the tanks burned which joins the twin cities of Hyderabad and Sikindrabad was made into a road. Initially, the area and depth of this tank were 5.7 square kilometer and 32 feet respectively but have decreased steadily. Osman Sagar Tank Osman Sagar, which is also called Gandipate Tank, is another tank that is located in Hyderabad. It was built on the sub-river of Musi. Till date, the people of Hyderabad have been using the water from this tank for drinking purpose. Do you know, city Udaipur, which is located in the state of Rajasthan, is called the city of lakes. Lake Pichola is the most prominent lake among all the lakes in Udaipur. It was built by Banjaras in 1362. Later on, King Uday Singh developed it. We will now perform an activity of drag and drop. Drag and drop the appropriate label under the appropriate image. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Keywords List of keywords are shown on the screen. Summary. Let us recap the highlights of this chapter. The main types of occupation in Indian villages include agriculture, fishing, weaving, cottage industry, handicrafts, etc. From the ancient period, agriculture remains the principal occupation in Indian villages. Tanks or chiruvulu were the main source of water for agriculture in villages. People nowadays have been polluting the tanks in many ways. 
Earlier, the water from tanks was used for drinking purpose, but now the water is completely polluted. At present, the tanks are being occupied by new houses. The green environment around us is getting reduced day by day because of the environmental pollution, deforestation and many other human activities. Improve your learning. Read the questions and attempt the answers on your own. You can click answer for your reference. Follow up work. Take a white chart, draw a table as shown below. Discuss with your friends and write down the names of the crops that can be grown when the tank has plenty of water and names of the crops that can be grown when the tank has less water. Name the tanks which are nearer to your place. What are the advantages of having tanks? Collect information and write it down in your notes. Visit a nearby tank with your elders and write your observation on the bund near the tank, the uses of tank, etc. With the help of your teachers, visit a nearby crop field, observe how water is supplied to the fields. Draw a block diagram. Collect the names of tanks and identify Sangam, Salakam, Kambam in the Andhra Pradesh map. Where are they located? In which districts? Write about a famous tank you know in your district or state. Know its history. Draw a diagram of the tank. For this information, refer to books, magazines, newspapers, internet, etc. Evaluation Test your understanding of the chapter by taking the mock unit test. You have successfully completed the chapter Our Village, Our Tanks.